Hi, this is Tony Batt for Gambling Compliance in Washington, D.C. We're in the office of Frank Ferenkoff, who is the President and Chief Executive Officer of the American Gaming Association, a position he's held for the last 15 years. Let's talk about Congress and, of course, uh, this summer the House Financial Services Committee passed a bill by the Chairman uh, Barney Frank of Massachusetts, which would legalize and regulate Internet gambling. Yeah. Uh, it looks like that debate has stalled until after the election, but talk about that issue and other uh, issues facing the industry. Well, let me turn this down. Um, there's just not enough time left for uh, uh, the Barney Frank legislation to really move beyond. I mean, uh, as you know, Tony, there are two parts to it, the, the Barney's bill, and but since uh, uh, our statutory and constitutional basis says that all taxes must originate in the Ways and Means Committee. The McDermott part of that bill that would put together the taxing level, Ways and Means uh, has indicated that there's not enough time to mark up. Uh, Congress is only going to be in session uh, for maybe another seven to ten days and then they're going to be gone. So I don't see that, that the House approach is going to move anywhere. Now I, I don't know if there's going to be a lame duck session that will start after the election and uh, the Senate uh, will be involved in a trial of a federal judge that's being impeached. So they're going to be here a long time. Could start if, maybe a week or so after the election with a break for Thanksgiving. They could be here close to Christmas. Uh, there's a lot of other bills that have to be taken care of. So I don't know whether or not uh, Mr. McDermott has any plans to try to move in the Ways and Means Committee during the lame duck. I mean, the real question uh, has been for some time whether or not anything would originate in the Senate, what uh, Senator Harry Reid's position was going to be, whether or not he might introduce a bill. There, there was a little flutter created in the news media a couple of weeks ago when in a campaign appearance in northern Nevada he indicated uh, that he might be able to support a poker only uh, internet bill. Uh, uh, but uh, I do not know what his intention is. Um, you know, he and I go back a long way. We're, we're close friends. Uh, I, I wish I could tell you I knew one way or another whether or not he would do anything during the lame duck session. Uh, I know that uh, before doing it, he's going to study it very hard to make sure it has no impact on jobs or, or revenue for the state of Nevada. That's his primary interest. But uh, that's going to be the key unanswered question in Internet gambling with Senator Reid. Speaking of Senator Reid, uh, he is, of course, in a very tough re-election fight right now. And on November 2nd, we'll know whether or not he wins uh, another six-year yep. term in the Senate or if he's ousted by the Republican ch challenger, uh, Sharon Angle. Uh, people ask me all the time, why is a former Republican National Committee chairman, like you, Frank Farenkoff, supporting Harry Reid? Can you explain that to well, us? Well, that, that's why? an easy one. Uh, Harry came to Washington when I came to Washington. I became chairman of the Republican National Committee in January of 1983. That's when Harry was sworn in as a new congressman from Nevada. So we've been here and our families have been here together for almost 30 years. So we're friends. Uh, and that counts for a lot with me. Plus also, uh, I have to put on my hat in this job. My job, my task, is to represent and protect uh, the gaming industry uh, and those states in the union where there's legalized uh, casino gaming. And so I have to look at it. Do I want to do that with having the majority leader of uh, the House, excuse me, the United States Senate, who has a great power over what gets to the floor and what doesn't get to the floor, or do I want to substitute a freshman Republican senator with no clout, no impact, and so forth? So, uh, I think the answer is is very uh, very clear. I of course prefer for my industry, uh, for the state of Nevada and those other states where gaming is legalized, to have someone like Harry Reid because he is unique beyond just being from Nevada, having been the former chairman of the Nevada Gaming Commission. He is extremely knowledgeable, one of the most knowledgeable people I know on the gaming industry, what's involved, the laws that control it, and so forth. So I, I have no apology whatsoever for supporting him. Let me ask you to look beyond uh, this year to 2011. Uh, it seems safe to assume at this point that there may not be final action on Internet gambling uh, this year. If that is indeed the case, what do you anticipate in the new session? Well. Let me back up a little bit because there's, there might be final action. Uh, if it's if it's going to happen, it'll happen in the lame duck. I don't expect anything to happen in the next week that they're going to be here in town before they all go back to their states campaigning. Uh, so there may very well be something happen 
in, in the, in the uh, lame duck session. Uh, I don't know whether there will be, I don't know what will happen, but uh, there may well be. Uh, if, that, if nothing passes in the lame duck session, then I think the prospect of legalized internet gambling uh, is put off for quite a while. Uh, even, you know, there are many people in this town who are saying that the Republicans are going to capture the House of Representatives. If that's the case, Barney Frank is no longer going to be the chairman of the Financial Services Committee. Republicans are going to be in charge. And Republicans historically have been m tougher on, on the gaming industry than, uh, than Democrats. Even if they don't take control of the House of Representatives, there's going to be more Republicans uh, in both the House and Senate. And I think that uh, the appetite for uh, doing something in the Internet area would be, would be very difficult, particularly since it's a presidential election coming up in two years. And because gambling, not only Internet gaming, but casino gaming, lotteries and so forth, there are many people in both parties uh, and among independents who, who are opposed to gaming of all forms. Uh, some of them, mostly in the Republican Party, are opposed on moral or religious grounds because it's their religious theology that they believe in. in the Democratic Party, it believes uh, there are many in the left, particularly in the Democratic Party, who feel that, that the gaming industry takes advantage of people who don't know what they're doing and aren't smart enough to spend their own money the way they want to. So you've got polarization that takes place in the political party. So, uh, I, I think it will be much more difficult to pass uh, internet legislation uh, if nothing passes in this lame duck session. And finally, uh, you are coming to the end of your current contract and uh, you've always told me that you have no plans to retire. Can you talk about what your plans are regarding a new contract? Well, my, my pre present contract expires December 31 of next year, 2011. And uh, right now, uh, you know, if they'll have me, I probably would stay on. I'm healthy, thank God, knock on wood. And, uh, but as you know, uh, under the contract that I have, uh, my board kind of controls my fate because they have an option on me. They, they can let me know by December 31 of this year whether they want to exercise that option. That would extend my contract to 2013. So we'll know in December at the December board meeting whether they're doing that. But if they decide that they would like me to stay on, uh, I'm willing. Uh, I, I love this industry. Uh, I love the dynamism in this industry. I love what's happening worldwide in this industry. And I am really, really bullish that uh, when this economy starts to pull out, people start going back to work and discretionary income comes to the fore, uh, we'll be back stronger than we were before.